The infidels in Great Britain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. Ah, oh, these rotten swines. No. And they've called in Portugal as well. Only about uh, 150k troops versus my 30 something k. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge. The challenge where we play every nation in U4 that doesn't exist in 14... Wait, no. No, no, it does. It does. Uh, Every nation in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. That's right. I got my series mixed up. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Central America as the nation of Quiche. Quiche is a nation located in Central America and it is the first Mayan nation that we are ever gonna play in A to Z. And I'm gonna be honest, it's the first Mayan nation that I'm ever gonna play in U4 in all my decades of experience in grand strategy gaming. That's right, I've never played as a Mayan nation. Quiche is located in these two provinces right here, obviously in modern day Guatemala or something like that, where Mayan, Mesoamerican, we start off with this 312 guy here, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce, and let's take a look at Quiche ideas because I actually don't know them. We start off with plus 10% national tax and plus 10% domestic trade power heal legitimacy as an ambition then we got production efficiency army tradition goods produced that's pretty nice diplo rep i like that stab discount morale and prestige so overall a pretty balanced set of national ideas but what do we do as Kiche? well first i thought that it was going to be painful playing in central america it's probably my least favorite region in eu4 to play in due to the horrible mechanics of the nahuatl religion but i just jumped in as Kiche earlier and i saw that we're actually mayan and we don't have those stupid nahuatl mechanics so we got the same bonus is that these guys get but we don't gotta have five vassals to release in order to reform we just gotta have 20 provinces and stuff like that so uh that's way easier than getting vassals so for today's challenge as Quiche, we are gonna have to conquer the entire mexico and central america regions of the new world and only those and then i'm gonna fortify my borders and stuff like that try and become as defensive as i can and declare on a bunch of colonial nations and see if i can actually be invaded or not so it's another fending off the colonizers but with a little defensive twist this time is it gonna be pain of course it is and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them let's jump in as Kiche. all right all right here we are as Kiche, and here are the government reforms or religious reforms that we're supposed to do actually and as we can see right here we need 20 provinces and stability now i wonder do we lose our provinces when we do that just like aztec or you know these uh nahuatl guys lose their vast I wonder. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see later. But a good thing as these guys is we can actually dev the Renaissance and feudalism and stuff like that. Whereas the Nahuatl nations, they can't. So, uh, you know, at least we'll be good on tech, I guess. And we'll be able to start making money from gold or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me get started by doing some estate stuff. We don't have a government reform or anything like that. Let's introduce the vision quest. Reunite the League of Mayapan. What happens? Oh! Oh, we can form Maya! I've never done this. We have to do this. Uh, There we go. Secondary goal for Maya. Well, all right, estate stuff done. I wonder if we have a special CB. Yeah, we do have a special CB to fight these guys. Let's go ahead and set some rivals. Let's rival the guys that have rivaled us uh, in no particular order. There we go. That's good enough for now, I guess. Are we making money at the start? Eh, not really. Force limit is seven. We probably don't have horses. Yeah, of course we don't. And uh, there we go. Let me get two more guys right here. This guy sucks. Uh, we got boats too. What are transports gonna do? Uh, only one trade note, so we can't really do stuff right there. Let's tell this guy to actually establish communities so we don't uh, get coalition really badly and uh let me actually get this morale guy right here and i am gonna go ahead and give my ruler mill command he's actually pretty good uh all right let me wait for a month and see if i can immediately declare on some of these guys if they don't get any allies yeah all right so uh december 11th i've allied these guys right here and the guys around me zapotec have allied someone these guys have allied two guys Itza have allied two guys these guys haven't allied anyone so let's declare on a total right here uh maya confederation uh yeah seems simple enough man any level three forts around here uh probably not yeah just over here in aztec and uh tlaxcala and uh these guys all right all right i've beaten these guys up i did get the free company as well let's take this there we go nice wars here seem to be pretty complicated all of these alliances are really convoluted man um i need to get a bunch of allies myself hopefully some of the northern guys i'm planning to expand over here yeah i think i am actually gonna start spawning uh feudalism in my capital right here it is really expensive since this freaking jungle but uh uh, yeah, there we go. Yep, it does increase. All right, I was right. Uh, let's force spawn feudalism. I'm really scared about what happens when we take one of these, man. Do we lose the provinces that we take over just like uh, the Nawadal guys lose their vassals? It's going to be horrible if I have to do this like five times, man. Might as well just not reform at that point, right? I don't know. These guys are going to get here, the colonizers, like 1500-ish, 1510 maybe. All right, next wartime, I think. I'm, uh... 
I'm gonna be honest, I'm not having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna declare on Zapotec right here, Maya Confederation, call on these two boys. This does seem to be the easiest where all of their allies are up north over here, so hopefully my boys can deal with them while I deal with these guys, and uh, let's get it. Meanwhile, I'm spawning feudalism. It is really painful because it's so expensive. All right, this war is done. Actually, wasn't too difficult. I did manage to white piece all of these uh, Zapotec allies, but... Now we can piece these guys out and take all of their provinces. Not a lot of A, nothing like that. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Four more provinces, man. What are we at right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Lots more to go. You can convert provinces to Mayan. This isn't really viable, is it? All right. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. Look at that air, dude. Ugh. Rivaled my ally on accident. Good old A to Z plunder right there. Oh, that's not something I wanted to happen. And I don't want to ally these guys down here. I want to ally someone up north. Fine, let's link with Yokotan. Oh, uh, we don't have unique missions, right? Yeah. What is this? Sacrificial traditions? Yeah, I guess these guys did do that. Um, It's all the same option, though. All right, let's disembowel them. These alliances are just so painful, man. Uh, I gotta declare a mixed tech right here. Call in Yokotan. We should be able to take these guys down. Even though we will have to take down a level 3 4, it shouldn't really be a problem. And I gotta be careful here that I don't fight someone with Miltech too, because some of these guys have already gotten it. All right, we've wrapped it up with mixed tech as well. Two more provinces, I guess. I really don't want to expand in the waddle, but uh, it's just easier rather than expanding down here. And I don't know if I should full state this, man. What if we lose our provinces, right? Of course, by full stating this stuff, I'd be a lot more richer. Bigger force limit too. I really don't know. Technically, we don't even have to core these, uh, the provinces that we're taking. I wonder if that's the strat for playing Mayan guys, just not core anything. Hmm. All right, there's feudalism. Uh, was this needless? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But I can take tech two, so... There we go. <sighs> All right, let's fight the... These guys should be easy. They only have one ally, Aztec. Unless they have vassals, which they have one. All right, not bad. You know what, man? I am going to full state this, even if it's bad. I think we are going to lose the provinces that we took, man. Because uh, what's the point of owning 20 provinces? What are you just going to click all of them in an order? All right, well, this war was kind of annoying, <laughs> especially since Aztec has uh, Miltech 3, which I'm about to get now. Doesn't matter too much, but uh, this war is done. Just two more provinces. Uh, uh, what am I at right now? Should be able to take these guys down next. Kokomes and who will join? These guys will join. And these guys. Hmm, I think I'll be able to phalanx these guys too. Let's do it. Miltech 3 though, so this should be super easy. It was not, in fact, easy. Yokatan got pieced out and they lost two provinces, which kind of sucks. This is turning out to be a really annoying war, but I have 13 provinces right now. That's 15 right there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, if I phalanx both of these guys, we'll finally be at 20 provinces. Please, EU4 gods, please. Please, Mr. Paradox, don't make me lose the provinces I conquered, or else I'm gonna alt F4 straight up, bro. I can't be bothered to do this five times. Please, please, please. All right, this is finally done. Can I full annex both of these guys on the same piece screen? I can. Let's take the money as well. Boom, there we go. 20 provinces. Right, overextension less than one. So I do need to core them up. All right. Okay, I cored everything up, boys. Uh, no overextension. We are at more than one stability, and there it is. We can pass a religious reform. Now, the best thing would to get right Right here would probably be a colonist so i can take everything right here and right here that's uncolonized so i don't have to actually take exploration and expansion and then i might go for the ccr or whatever but please please don't make me lose the provinces okay i'm closing my eyes i'm clicking on this what happened doing so will free all nations you have subjugated releasing some of your provinces and lowering your stability by one some of my provinces is that all of my provinces oh Okay, I just lost five provinces, right? No cores on anything. Yeah, I lost five. Okay, okay, losing five provinces I can do. What did we lose, though? These provinces up here. Yeah, they went to these big boys. But this is simple. What if I just fight these guys and then take five provinces from them? They're vassal of Aztec. <laughs> this shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. Okay, not as painful as I thought. Good. So I didn't lose any of the cord stuff. Why did I give up these provinces specifically, though? I wonder if it's random or not. All right, uh, we're at 15 provinces, right? What I'm going to do right now is actually declare on these guys right here. Can Patch, which is allied to my other ally over here, but I think I'm going to full annex both of them. And that's five provinces. We should be able to get another reform going after that. Yeah, let's do that. I wonder if I'm going to lose more provinces now. Maybe it's like five, then 10, then 15. God. I hope not, but this isn't as faithful as I thought. My vigor for the game has been reinvigorated. All right, War is Done wasn't difficult, but it was annoying because I did have to siege down two level three ports. But let's full annex both of these guys right here. I am getting rebel bombed majorly right now. So let's go ahead and core this up and uh, see if we can pass another reform and see how many provinces we'll lose this time. Meanwhile, I just took uniting the tribes, trustworthy allies. All right, all right. By the way, I'm not colonizing yet because I want to fight these guys first so I can freely walk to everything I colonize. 
I did break my alliance with them. I was allied. All right, free companies toast. All right, I've cored everything up. And once again, it is time to pass a reform. I wonder what I'll lose right here, man, because this is full stated, right? And uh, the things I lost earlier weren't. So let's see. Uh, what do we go with here? The CCR, I guess. Yeah, we'll lose. Doing so will free all nations you've subjugated. I haven't. Release some of your provinces and lower your stability by one. And boom, there we go. Lose one stab. Kiche was reduced to a size of 16 provinces. What did I lose? Think I lost provinces up here? I lost some more down here, but I mean, not bad. I just lost four instead of five. Okay, good. You know, interestingly enough, there aren't any truces with the nations that receive provinces from me or something like that. I only have a truce with these guys that I broke my alliance with. Another horrible error. All right, I'm gonna declare on these guys that my truce expired with. Ah, their ally won't join. All right, I'll do it the other way around then. All right, both of these boys are toast. There's uh, one additional province. Now we're at 21. Let's score this up and pass another reform. I should probably delete a lot of these forts, huh? So no one pops out with them and stuff like that. People have been building them. I don't really need them, uh, especially in these provinces. Like I said, I'm just going to fortify the borders later. We do have a few monuments right here, actually. Where are they? Great projects. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to check these out later. Oh, now I'm actually going to start colonizing, too. Yeah, there we go. All right, stuff has been cored up. Let's go for the infantry combat now. All right, now I'm going to actually see what's been released. And okay, so Shu got some provinces and Yokotan got one. All right, not bad. I don't have a truce with these guys. I can fight them immediately. And that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. Yoko Dan won't help them. All right, very easy war. I am going to full annex them. I don't think I should lose all of the provinces, right? All right, things have been cored up. Took a while because it didn't have admin points, but we can pass our fourth reform, and I'm going to go for the unrest one right now. What am I going to lose? I lost the same... Th Why did Yokotan get that? Well, this sucks. We're allied. I actually lost like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces this time, dog. I'm at 17, though. All right. All right, let's go ahead and fight the final nation and pass the final reform after I fight uh, Tlapanek here, who's a subject of uh, someone. These guys, I will have the needed provinces to pass the final reform. And after that, we can get the straight up conquest and not giving away anything anymore. This shouldn't be too difficult. All right, pretty much done with this war. I'm only going to take this stuff right here that I border. Uh, that's done. Let's core that up. All right, cores are done. We can do our final reform, which is the minus 10% land maintenance, the dumbest one. But, uh, there we go. Let's see, what are we gonna lose? All right, I didn't lose stuff I actually didn't want to lose because I do want to spawn the Renaissance right here. All right, let's stabilize a bit, and then I think I'll go ahead and full annex Yokotan. Yeah, this is where we're gonna dev the Renaissance, man. Let's activate Encourage Dev right there. We already have Feudalism spread, and does the Renaissance spread? Yes, it does. All right. Let's go ahead and start bumping this stuff up. Now, to fully reform our nation, we just need to border a colonizer. Why am I spawning the Renaissance if we do that anyway? Well, I don't want to be too behind on tech. All right, there's another colony started right there. Hello there. Well, you guys are here earlier than I thought. Jill from Albuquerque. Wait, don't we have a colonizing thing for the burgers? Yeah, there it is. And there's the Renaissance. How much money do I need to embrace it? Let's go ahead and see 408 ducats. <laughs> uh, how big are my loans? Yeah, I'm going to wait or... For it to spread, yeah. But either way, let's not get bogged down. Let's go ahead and declare on uh, Yokotan, Mayan Confederation, baby. All right, that's done. Uh, I thought it would be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it was actually uh, difficult, difficult lemon uh, difficult because of Aztec, of course. But uh, let's not get bogged down with that. And let's go ahead and full annex Yokotan right here. Those provinces are now mine. And finally, we're not going to be losing any more provinces. Oh my God. Yeah, let's do this real quick while these guys border me. All right, these guys are done, but of course they'll just move away. Yeah, actually making decent cash here, man. <laughs> I think I can go ahead and take out the burger loans now. There it is, and dead at the Martian Guilds. Let's go ahead and embrace the Renaissance. <laughs> it's even more expensive now, which did backfire a little bit, but uh, no big deal. Let's take this and this. Ooh, I'm way behind on Ammon. I need to focus up. New colony time. I am trying to get the coastline done before the colonizers arrive. Luckily, I only need uh, one, two, three, four more provinces to get the Atlantic coast unlocked. Uh, we're going to be stopping right here. And I think by now, man, Portugal and Castile should be in the Caribbean and in Brazil. It's going to be a while before they get to us, but not really that long, man. I think in 1530 max. Will we have united all of this by then? Doubt it. Weird that there's no centers of trade down here. I guess they want the mine guys to be weaker, huh? Yeah. Okay, I can fight these guys. Let's go ahead and do that. I think Aztec just popped out all of their vassals. Yeah, they did. They did. There's Castile as well. Hello, Thomas de la Cueva. All right, now the war with uh, Tlaponic here is done. What I'm going to do is full annex them, even though I can't reach this because it's not going to be a problem. I'm simply going to declare on Mixtec right here, who's only allied to these orange guys, to Titlan or whatever. And uh, I'm going to be annexing both of them as well. Oh, yeah, nice. We can co-belligerent them too. All right, let's send those guys there. And uh, yeah, I got another general. Let's go there. What is it with these heirs, dude? 
Either way, uh, we're with these two guys that's done. Let's go ahead and full annex them, deal with the rebels, then move on. All right, new colony time. I am going to put it down here. There we go. And let's beat these guys up. And now I'm actually going to declare on Mosquito right here. And I think that's the final coastal province we need on that side. Yeah. So we just need to colonize these two and take this one now. Easy. All right. Well, I was expecting Portugal and Spain, but no, it's England. Alrighty then. Luckily, they're not in a province we need. All right. We're with these guys. is done. Let's take that. They'll migrate, of course. Yep. All right. I think we can take Anatech 5. Yes, we can. Let's open up with a mill idea group here. Like I said, I did want to get defensive. So let's go defensive. What am I going to do with all these Diplo points? I don't know. Let's tech up, I guess. All right. I got cannons and horses now, too. We really got to hurry this along here, man. Let's go ahead and declare an Aztec. Do I need to co in these two guys? It's uh, these guys and uh, these guys guys nah no real need but let's take down aztec which is pretty much the most powerful nation here along with taras khan here well england just turned to great britain which means they're at uh 10 9 10 i'm not that far behind honestly also if you're wondering i am converting stuff to mayan going uh decently well all right finally i just pieced out these guys over here uh now i just need to full annex aztec which i think i should be able to do we're getting lots of gold mines right now but i don't think we can use them yet because we don't really have a government right so we are making like very little from gold yeah no point in even debbing them or anything like that. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to blaze through all of these guys that are left off in the north so we can, uh, you know, fortify. I think we're going to be fighting Great Britain, man. Can we see them yet? I don't think we can. Can I click on their capital? Delight, uh, East Frisia, Portugal, Hainaut, and Liege. Not two strong alliances admin expo quantity they are gonna be pretty powerful but at least they're not allied to like spain or something like that or yeah what i was getting at is uh i want to declare on these guys right here can co belligerent terror these guys have four vassals i think i'm gonna let them get one more before they blow up uh who else can i fight though i actually can't fight anyone else might as well use the excess diplo points to dev up a few gold mines preemptively right yeah truce with mosquito is up again yeah let's go ahead and take the final coastal province of the atlantic side mixed tech broke free from here and this war is done let's piece these guys out and so is this other one all right, Taraskan reformed. They let go of all of their allies. Now we can go ahead and declare on them and fight them and these uh, purple guys right here. All right, war with these guys is done as well. We are going to be full annexing both of them. Not a lot of nations left anymore. All right, let's get a move on while none of these guys have allies. All right, these boys are toast as well. There's three more provinces. New colony time. Great Britain has taken a province I want. <laughs> Uh, at least I'm gonna border them soon, right? Yeah, let's declare on, uh, Otomi. And the war with Otomi is done. We can full annex them. And now, I border, uh... Do I? Oh, it's not British Mexico's core yet. Or it's not my core? Let's core it up. Hey, there we go. Now we can reform our religion. Reform our religion by and society by learning from britain giving us two texts spread across the categories and one institution and adopting their form of government no i'm gonna be the british parliament or whatever it is you know one time when you want spain and portugal to come they don't but either way there we go head of the reformed church what the all right i'm still mayan at least right what am i <laughs> english monarchy no i don't want to be an english monarchy ha curtail noble privileges of course yeah let's go with um autocracy right here man and uh i think I think I'm gonna swap the strength and noble privileges right here. Right here is regional councils, which freaking sucks. And I can choose. Yeah, let's get this. Yeah, let's get that actually. Nice. All right, not bad. But yeah, at least now we've reformed our religion, uh, new world modernization. We can take new tech. I did get some tech from British Mexico, I guess. No, whatever, doesn't matter too much. Uh, I can take my second idea group. Should I go religious right here, man? Does it have a nice bonus with defensive, unrest, and attrition? Or should I go trade to make some money? I'm actually kind of good on money. Uh, I am going to go religious. And we can reunite the League of Maya Pan. Boom, country changes to Maya. Let's get it, baby. Ah, uh, empire nice new color maya cool ass flag do we have new ideas we do not maya's not that cool i guess codification of the faith sure with that we have even become a great power most impressive we are number six great power in the world but now we're also making money from go i love it baby you love to see it well listen with lowered autonomy it's even better <laughs> High inflation go brrr. I don't care, man. All right, let's go and finish these guys off and then start for... Oh, now I don't have the CB. All right, we got some monuments that we can do. We can do the Chichen Itza, manpower curry speed, infantry cost, recruitment time. It's not that good. What about the Tikal? Dev discount, stab discount globally, unrest. Yeah, these b both of these aren't that good, huh? For the Mayan guys, can we use uh, Tenochtitlan? No. Well, actually, we need to accept it, but globally, it doesn't give us anything. I'm just going to build some army buildings, dog. Yeah. All right, now we can deal with these guys, right? Yeah. And these guys have got some cool-ass sprites. <laughs> All right, done. Yeah, let's fight these other guys here immediately. These guys are done as well. There we go. 
There's no point in religious. I'm never going to get this done. Well, actually, I don't need to core that much more, but defensive and religious, man, it's kind of whack. What are we going to do with religious? It's not really going to help us out that much. And the unrest and attrition is kind of mid. I'm not really feeling it, honestly. Maritime, though, that would help us. All right, let's move on the final two nations that we border these two boys. Right, man, Maritime, and I'm not even building boats, yo. Let's go. Let's get some galleys going, huh? Yeah, there we go, baby. We do need to fend off the colonizers somehow. And uh, a mighty navy, well, it should help us out quite a bit. Yo, of course, it's actually pretty good. All right, these two boyos are done. All right, now we just need to focus on colonizing. I do need to get quite a few provinces up here and down here, too. Hmm. I may take it like expansion for my third one, honestly. All right, I got lucky here. These guys decided to border me. Let's hope they don't move before I spy on them. Ah, uh, they did move. All right, lucky me. Both of these guys have actually moved back next to me. <laughs> Let's hit these guys too. All right, there's our third idea group. I am going to take expansion just for that one more colonist. Actually, dude, we're so rich. We don't even need to keep the colonist in the province, man. We can just keep sending him. So yeah, for that reason, I'm going to go with another mill idea. Quality. All right, war with these one guys is done. And with these other guys too, apparently. Don't mind me just spending 70 ducats on colonies. <laughs> So yeah, right now we're chilling, waiting on the colonies to finish and waiting uh, to get all of the provinces right here. I've already started sort of fortifying right here, uh, right next to the province we actually need to take from British Mexico. And uh, yeah, man, we're for sure going to be fighting uh, Britain and Portugal, two of the biggest colonizers in the world. Luckily, no Spain, but uh, yeah, not looking too good for now. The infidels in Great Britain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. Ah, <sighs> these rotten swines. No. And they've called in Portugal as well. Only about uh, 150k troops versus my 30-something k. We are Miltech 8, they're 11. Well, uh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, getting indebted to the merchant guilds right here so we can upgrade this guy to a level 4 advisor so we can take up a little quickly. Uh, help. These guys are tech 12. No way I can beat them. Let's see if my boats can do anything here. <laughs> So far, I actually am managing to knock back some armies, uh, mostly just small stacks, as you guys can see right here. Who's this? Uh, but yeah, Navy's doing good. Yeah, I lost when I engaged this army right here. I need to pick up, I need to pick off their Navy and um, engage these smaller stacks. Otherwise, I won't be able to beat them. Unless I get another army like this up and running, but I really don't have the manpower for that. I do have the money, though. I am uh, quite wealthy. Uh, let's try and get some merc companies up and running. The independent one, there it is. Uh, I did manage to beat their big army with uh, these two armies right here. Got the force back, unseizing myself. I just can't catch their big fleet right here with the uh, heavies, man. Uh, they're too quick. Uh, meanwhile, Portugal hasn't been doing anything, man. They're just black flagged, or at least uh, Caribas or whatever. All right, maybe this will help us a bit. Not doing too bad, man. Full skill on display right here, baby. Full skill on display. Let's get another uh, admiral right there. All right, let's see what happens right here in Hills, which is owned by them. I'm sending in both of my armies. We should be able to beat them. I'm tech 10 now. They are, yeah, I'm 10. What are they? They're 12. Not too big of a difference. Obviously, they'd still beat me uh, 101. Listen, now they're offering peas. They give me money and stuff like that. No, man, that's not what I want, yo. What I do want is this one province right here. All right, you'll give me that. Let's take war reps as well. Nice. Get some money as well. Sweet. There's a win right there. Of course, our challenge isn't complete. We don't own all of Central America and Mexico. Uh, let me get this, fortify, and then I'll declare on them on my own terms. All right, I'm going to fight these guys now again. Why do I lose this every month and gain it every month? It's getting kind of annoying. All right, done for now. Uh, let's go with... Uh, what do we... We don't want this, right? Actually, state maintenance is pretty good. Uh, let's go meritocratic. All right, we just need this one province right here. And this is enough. Sweet. I didn't even notice this 101 guy. War! Great Britain has declared war upon us. Again. Are they stronger now? They are. They kind of are. Still the same colonies, though. I'm Funnily enough, I'm still Miltech 10 while they're um 13. Right. All right, I beat these guys once. I can do it again, right? Let's go ahead and take out a couple of more loans right there and get the free company back up and running. Uh, more forts now, but uh, could be about the same. Lost a naval battle. All right, Portugal's main fleet is here. Luckily, no British or Portuguese armies so far. All right, well, I was focusing up north. They took the two forts down here, but I think I should be able to get them back. Portugal is on low, actually. Uh, I feel like I've beaten them up enough, I guess. Can I take something from them? No, of course not. But let's white piece them. And there we go. Britain is on low again. I guess I've beaten them up again. I don't want any provinces from them, but I am going to take war reps and money. All right, bye-bye, Britain, for the second time. But there we go, man. Pretty much everything is colonizing. I just need two more forts right here once those are done and to beat these guys up and our campaign will be a success. I think after beating back Britain and Portugal twice, huh, I'm good, man, and I don't think I have to declare on them. 
But uh, boy, do I hate it when I don't fight on my own terms, man. When I have to, you know, get loans out, hire mercenary companies, get my boats beaten up for Christ's sake. Uh, I was even two and three mil techs behind four earlier, eight versus 12. Luckily with my uh, enormous human brain, I was able to beat back the puny AI brain. On normal difficulty, of course, I can play on hard. That's too hard. All right, let's take care of the final province over here. And um, easy enough. Boom. There we go. All right. We just need these three provinces to finish colonizing and uh, two more forts right here and we'll be done. Uh, pain, but not that much, if I'm being honest. It was a lot more painful playing over here in the early game. Just as I was about to wrap it up, seriously. <laughs> this one. <laughs> All right. There's your finale. <laughs> You know what, man? Honestly, I've lost my will to live in EU4, of course, because we've already done what we've set out to accomplish, man. Look at this. Primary goal was to conquer the entirety of Mexico and Central America. We've done that. Just one more colony left to finish right here, and it's basically already mine. Secondary goal was to fortify our border provinces, and there they are. Forts and every one of them up there and down here, baby. And for our other goal, you know, we needed to form Maya. We did that, and we needed to beat the colonizers, which we already did twice. Start off as Kiche in these two stupid provinces right here, and the start was super annoying because we needed to do these reforms, but I did them. Lost provinces, gained them back, build up my nation from zero to get on the great powers list well not really because i don't have the printing press but you get my point look at this man 102 income a month 60 ducats income from gold and i haven't even devved all of my dozens of gold provinces up lots of income massive army massive force limit huge navy that i used to have and honestly because i did all that i can't be bothered to fight Portugal, Caribas, Florida, Portuguese, Australia, Portuguese, Colombia, Spain, Spanish, Brazil, Spanish, La Plata, and Spanish, Peru, because I already beat the colonizers. I don't have anything left to prove. Beat Great Britain and their boys twice. Beat Portugal up twice. They were in those two wars. What more do you want me to do? Trade buildings in every center of trade. All of them upgraded. Look at all of these production buildings in the nice trade value provinces, man. Look, there's nothing more that can be done here. There's nothing more that can be done. You know what? You know what? You can have anything you want because I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But that's how you lose your mind playing Kiche in EU4. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Kiche in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Kiche in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash redhawklive. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of it. And you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video. Freaking Spain and Portugal, man.